Hi, Bernard Tobin for RealAgriculture.com. I'm down here near Selkirk, Ontario today, and I'm joined by Scott Shepard. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Hey, this is your farm, uh, Shepland Farms, uh, near Selkirk, and today we're going to talk IP soybeans, and Scott and his family are big IP soybean growers. You got about 2,500 acres of uh, IPs in this year. Tell us a, bit, a little bit about the operation and, and why IP. Uh, well, a little bit of a background, I guess. Um, obviously, I farm with my dad and my younger brother. Um, we've uh, we've been big non-GMO soy growers, I guess, uh, for the last six or seven years. We started off with Thompson's in uh, Norwichshire when uh, Tim Montague was there, and um, then it's just uh, snowballed from there. We started a little bit that year, and now we're obviously big into it. We're in our area. With the heavy clay, it, it seems like it's sometimes of a challenge to grow corn down here. So we've seemed to have the best luck with uh, with the IP soybeans and then a wheat, obviously as our rotation. So we'll go two years beans and then a year of wheat and then back to two years beans, a year of wheat. And uh, it's one of those things, I guess we've been in it for so long, like uh, our facility, everything we do here is all set up for the IPs. So it just eliminates the contamination. Um, we've done it for so many years now, I guess you kind of know what to expect on the on the grading and the, what to expect when it comes time to harvest. Right. So it's just one of those things, I, you know, for some farmers, the, the Roundup Ready program works for them, and for us, the, the IP program works yeah. for us. Because a lot of guys are get in, get out, premiums drive the market, but you guys are pretty solid, and it, it seems to be just a good fit for your operation. Yeah, and, you know, obviously that's the the... The first, uh, I guess, piece of talk every year is what the premiums are going to be. Um, there's a lot of extra work that goes into it. Um, you know, we, we've had really good support with, uh, we deal, majority, most of our work is done with Clark Agri-Service and Wellimport. Um, they've been tremendous for us. Um, we, uh, it's kind of a whole package deal. We buy the seed through them, who uh, originally comes from, it's a CK and Tom Montague dealership there in Jarvis. And uh, it comes through Clark's, and then they've got all their uh, their scouts and everything that are out here every week this time of year looking for escapes and and keeping an eye on things. Because when you get that many acres, it does take a big commitment, a lot of time walking fields, making sure. And uh, But yeah, no, we've had good luck. This year we're going to go, I think we've got about 60% of it's into OAC Kent's, yes. and then the other 40% will be Brooks. Mm -hmm. um, we've done a few trials with them the last couple of years, had good results. Um, and like I say, we've, we've always been impressed with the, the consistency of the yield of the Kents. Right. And uh, so yeah, this year we're going to try some Brooks and see how they go. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about this year, um, a, a late year. Uh, how did planting go down in this neck of the woods and uh, wh what time did you get in? Uh, it was a little later than usual. Obviously around here we always try to aim, you know, the first of May if we can. Um, obviously with the weather and stuff, everything was a little bit later. <clears throat> But, you know, uh, standing in the bean field we're in here now, we, we got a couple timely rains once we did get the beans in to get them out of the ground. Uh, they're starting to canopy here now, so if we get another couple more timely rains, we'll be, things will be all right. Now, where are you out uh, regarding, you know, crop management? I mean, w w what stage you at, are you at and what do you need to do now before harvest? Uh, actually, we're right in the midst of obviously uh, scouting the fields all the time. Um, we did a little bit of respraying uh, last week. We had a few fields with, the, you know, minor escapes, but, um, it always seems to be a challenge with us. We, uh, we struggle with, uh, you know, your pigweed, your ragweed, your lamb's quarters. So it's just keeping them under control. Um, the biggest thing we don't want is the tagging and the staining at harvest time. Cause that's what, when it comes to grading and all that, that's the first thing they look at in the IP side of things is, is dirt tagging. And for us, a lot of it is weed staining. So we're trying to keep up on it, keep our fields clean and just, just putting time into walking them and, and looking at them, looking after them. All right. And I guess the big key going forward, you know, as you get into harvesting is having that combine ready, cleaned out. Uh, that's the final step to getting the beans you want, right? That's right. And for us, it, it works good because we don't really do a whole lot of uh, custom work that, that's away from IPs. Even the, the little bit of custom work we do do is all IP growers too. And then obviously we got our wheat crop to in the spring to, or in the summertime here to get the combines cleaned out and then bring them in, service them, get them ready to go and back into bean harvest. Yeah. So um, again, I, I guess the philosophy is IP soybeans, big part of the business. It's not it's not a, a, a premium in and out type of thing for you guys. No, we're, we, like I say, we've been in a year after year. It's worked. We've been, uh, we've been happy with the relationship we've had with Huron. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, with the whole Clarks assisting and helping out on the on the scouting side of it, it's just it's been a good fit for us. It's yeah. one of those things that works. Um, you know, you get a year like this year now that beans are back under twelve dollars, and you you add the premium on it, you know, puts a good price on those soybeans again. Where if you're in the Roundup Ready market, you know, you're not getting that premium, obviously. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, we're gonna come back at harvest and maybe ride a combine and uh, see how things work out in the, in the season. Sounds good to me. Good stuff. We'll see you soon.